students in present video i am going to explain about 10th problem from triple column cash book topic i am taking this question from telangana state telugu academy inter first year accountancy test book this video is useful to all commerce students who want to know about triple column cash book topic so previous problems 8th problem and 9th problem videos links are also available in the description box this question is also available in the description box let us start the problem prepare cash book with cash bank and discount columns from the following instead of using triple column cash book word he is giving cash bank and discount column cash book means triple column cash book only because in this book only we have discount column cash column and bank column first november 2018 cash in hand 5900 rupees this is known as opening cash balance so this is an asset asset shows a debit balance therefore debit side we should write first november 18 for opening balance we should write balance brought down in cash column 5900 rupees in next line he has given bank overdraft so bank overdraft is also opening balance but bank overdraft is not favorable bank balance it is unfavorable bank balance so business people maintain current accounts on current accounts they can avail overdraft facility when businessman avails overdraft facility on his current account so he can withdraw excess amount suppose in his account 10000 rupees there he can draw a check for 25000 So twenty five thousand minus ten thousand, fifteen thousand is known as overdraft. So on this fifteen thousand, firm has to pay interest to banker. Here, bank overdraft ten thousand eight hundred is given. Means month starting date there is unfavorable bank balance. In previous month, already firm has taken loan from the bank. Loan amount is ten thousand eight hundred rupees. So bank balance, favorable bank balance is an asset. Debit side we should show because asset shows a debit balance, but this is overdraft bank balance. So bank overdraft is a liability. Liability show a credit balance. Therefore, credit side we have to show this opening balance. So debit side don't write anything. Credit side date is not given. So same date we should take by balance brought down. Here also brought down only we should write because this is opening bank balance and in bank column amount is ten thousand eight hundred rupees. From next onwards he has given transactions. So to record transactions in triple column cash book there are two methods: general interest method, shortcut method. So shortcut method, hints method I am going to explain in this problem. According to that, if cash is coming into the firm. Debit side cash column we should write that. From the firm if cash is going mm. credit side cash column we should enter the transaction. Because of a transaction, if a firm's bank balance is increasing, debit side bank column we should write. If bank balance is decreasing, credit side bank column we should write. Paid for stationery four hundred rupees. Firm paid towards stationery. When firm is maintaining accounts. Firm needs some stationery items, books, pens, papers, etc. They purchase these stationery items. So from the firm, cash is going. When cash is going, it appears on credit side in cash column. Amount is four hundred rupees. In particulars column, expenditure name we should write. This is stationery now. Buy stationery account. Third. Next. Deposited into bank four thousand five hundred rupees. Firm deposited cash into bank. When firm deposits money into bank, or when firm withdraws money from bank, it is contra entry. So contra entry two times we should write. Debit side and credit side we should write. First amounts we should fill. Fifth date deposited into bank four thousand five hundred rupees. From the firm cash is going. So credit side cash column we should write four thousand five hundred. In bank we deposited this amount. So bank balance increases. Therefore 
डेबिट साइड बैंक कॉलम एज दिस इज कॉन्ट्रा एंट्री इन ए लेफ्ट नंबर राइट टर्म सी हियर ऑल्सो सी इन पर्टिकुलर स्पॉट टू राइट एज वी रोड द एमाउंट इन बैंक कॉलम यू शुड राइट टू कैश अकाउंट दैट इज फिफ्थ एज वी रोड एमाउंट इन कैश कॉलम वी शुड राइट बाई बैंक अकाउंट नेक्स्ट एट्थ डेट रिसीव कैश फ्रॉम स्वप्न सेवन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड डिस्काउंट अलाउड हंड्रेड रुपीज फर्म इज रिसीविंग कैश फ्रॉम स्वप्न कैश इज कमिंग देर फॉर डेबिट साइड कैश कॉलम डिस्काउंट अमाउंट हंड्रेड रुपीज फ्रॉम होम वी आर रिसीविंग फ्रॉम स्वप्न देर फॉर राइट ऑन हर नेम हियर टू स्वप्न अकाउंट डेट इज एट इलेवंथ डे गुड सोल्ड फॉर कैश थाउजेंड रुपीज फर्म सोल्ड गुड्स टू कस्टमर्स सो गुड्स आर गोइंग फॉर कैश वी सोल्ड मीन्स फ्रॉम कस्टमर कैश इज कमिंग एज कैश इज कमिंग डेबिट साइड कैश कॉलम वी शुड रिकॉर्ड थाउजेंड रुपीज वेन गुड्स आर सोल्ड वी शुड राइट सेल्स अकाउंट थर्टीन डे रिसीव्ड चेक फ्रॉम श्रावंती वन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड डिस्काउंट अलोड सेवेंटी फाइव रुपीज डिपॉजिटेड इन टू बैंक सो फ्रॉम श्रावंती चेक केम टू अस Actually speaking, firm should go to Sravanti's bank. Firm should present the check there, and firm should take the money. But daily, so many checks come to firm. So instead of going to their banks, firm deposits all these checks in its bank. Now collecting the money and depositing in firm's account is firm's banker's duty. Now the question is, when check is coming, when it is deposited into bank, we should observe. So check came on. Thirteenth day, and on the same day, check is deposited into bank. So our assumption is, when we deposited check into bank, on the same day, bank collected money. So bank balance is increasing. Therefore, debit side bank column amount is eleven hundred rupees. Discount amount seventy five. We received this check from Sravanti. So write down her name here. To Sravanti account. Thirteenth day. Next. Sixteenth day, cash withdrawn from bank two thousand rupees. From bank we withdrew money. This is contra entry. So when cash is deposited into bank, when cash is withdrawn from bank, these two are contra entries. So cash is coming to us. Therefore, debit side cash column we should write the amount two thousand rupees. From bank we withdrew money. So bank balance is decreasing. Credit side bank column. As this is contra in a left column, write down C. Date is sixteenth date. Two sides. Now in particular, what to write? We wrote amount in cash column. Therefore, write down to bank account. Credit side, we wrote amount in bank column. So write down by cash account. Nineteenth date. Paid rent two fifty. So from the form, cash is going. Therefore, credit side cash column two fifty rupees. Expenditure name we should write here by rent account nineteenth date. Twenty first issued check to Nikhil two thousand eight hundred discount received two hundred. So firm has to pay money to Nikhil three thousand. So in full settlement for two thousand eight hundred rupees, firm issued a check to him. Means two hundred is discount received. And when we issue check to Nikhil, Nikhil goes to our bank. He presents the check and he takes money. So bank balance is decreasing. Therefore, credit side bank column we should write the amount. Discount two hundred in discount column. To Nikhil we issued this check now. Write down his name. Twenty first date. Next last one twenty third. Purchased furniture four thousand rupees. So firm purchased furniture. Furniture is coming. As supplier's name is not given, this is cash purchase. In return, firm paid cash. Cash is going. As cash is going, credit side in cash column we should write the amount four thousand rupees. Date twenty third. If goods are purchased, we should write by purchase as account. If any fixed asset is purchased, that asset name we should write. For example, land, building. Missionary, furniture, vehicles, etc. Here, fixed asset name is given. Furniture. Write down 
furniture account. So posting is completed. Next step is balancing. Discount columns we should not balance. Only totals we should put. So debit side discount column total 175 rupees. Credit side discount column total 200 rupees. Cash column we should balance. Debit show, total should be more than credit total always. So in rough notes, debit total first we should calculate from here to here. 16,800 rupees minus credit total from here to here. 9,150 rupees. Then write down the difference. 7,650. This is called balancing figure. Way to write which side total is less. That side we have to show this answer. Credit side total is less. Credit side 7,650 in cash column. Now for that date should be last date of the month. In November month total 30 days will be there. So 30 date we should write. For answer you have to write balance carry down. Two sets put the totals. Debit total is more now. Debit side 16,800. Debit total we should write. Credit side. We wrote the difference amount. So from here to here. If you count all the amounts. Same total comes. 16,800. So for November month we have completed. For December also we should continue. For that. This balancing figure we should carry forward. So credit side answer came now. We should bring that to debit side. Date is next imminent date of this date. 1st December 2018 to balance brought down in cash column 7650. Now same thing we do for bank column also. Here for bank column Credit amounts total is more. So in rough notes, first credit total we should calculate. From here to here. 15,600 minus debit amounts total. These two amounts total. 5,600. Then the difference is 10,000 rupees. So credit debit total is less. Therefore this answer balancing figure debit said we should write here. 10,000 rupees. For this, date is last date of the month, 30. This is balancing figure, no. So write down, to balance, carry it down. Now two sides put the totals. Credit total is high. So two sides, 15,600 we should write. Debit side answer came. So carry forward that to credit side. Date is next immediate date of this date. 1st December 2018 by balance brought down in bank column 10,000 rupees. So what is the meaning of this answer? As I said in previous video, this amount 7,650 represents cash balance. So month starting date in our firm 5,900 amount is there. During this month, we received all these amounts. And we paid all these amounts. So finally, at the month end, we are left over with the 7,650 cash balance. So we are to observe the physical cash on this date. So physically, the cash should be 7,650. Then the meaning is there is proper control on cash. And what is the meaning of bank balance? Previous month, last date. Nothing but current month starting date, there is overdraft bank balance of 10,800. So from bank, we have taken 10,800 rupees loan. During this month, we withdrew 2,000 rupees and 2,800 rupees from bank. So loan further increases by 4,800 because of these two withdrawals. And from this loan, we paid 4,500 and 1,100 rupees. Nothing but we deposited these two amounts. So we are liable to bank. When we deposit these two amounts, that liability decreases. So finally, at the end of the month, our liability is 10,000 rupees. 
So bank overdraft balance is 10,000 rupees. So on 1st December 2018, firm is liable to bank for 10,000 rupees. To know these two values, cash balance and the bank overdraft balance, we have prepared this cash book. So this is all about 10th problem from triple column cash book topic. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.